us being and myself being around him for so long now and, and uh, just knowing the maturity level that he has and, and, and the things that I was trying to get across to you know to the fans to the media that this is who he is this is his DNA and, and he really handled himself great all week long he prepared uh, like he was a, a five six year veteran and, and uh, he obviously he played that way and, and uh, just so happy for him and, and his family and, and the team uh, they're so excited uh, to get this first win, but uh, again with Carson, how he handled himself from the maturity level was uh, was outstanding. He, at one point, he moved very early in the game. He moved Spoles from one side to the other. I don't know if that was, it, it seemed like he was, I don't know if he was changing plays or moving, but he was doing a whole lot of, seeing moving people No, around. some of the, you know, just in game plan, that's some of the things we do uh, just by plan. Uh, so that, that's really all that is, um, nothing more than that. In scripting the first drive, what were you trying to do? I wanted to get him and really the offensive line settled into the football game. Uh, first two, first two plays, we wanted to run the ball with with potential throws uh, attached to it, and then, and then really just sort of let let the game sort of unfold from there. And, and, and the other thing too was was get Carson kind of on the perimeter, you know, where he where he does some, some of his best work outside the pocket, and and then uh, you know we got down into the red zone. He made a great throw um, uh, to Jordan in the back end for the touchdown to finish it off, but. You know, just again, wanted to get him in there comfortable, get our offensive line sort of just, just kind of rolling off the ball and then eventually you know, build up to, to some more down the field stuff. That was, 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 the Aguilar, that was you wanted to hit him quickly after going after him. Yeah, you know, it, it, and normally in those situations, it's a little bit of a, um, you know, kind of takes the, the, the wind out of the sails defensively. And, uh, you know, I, just, I, was, I was in that mode of I wanted to stay aggressive with Carson and the guys. And, and just dialed it up the next play. Um, and Nelson, great release off the ball on a great corner. And uh, Carson put it, put it right where he had to be. So it was just just another aggressive play back to back. During the course of the game, he targeted Jordan Matthews at least at least 10 times that I counted. Um, how important was it for him to have that chemistry with Matthews and working with him and having him back on the field after missing so much from uh, Yeah, the one thing that, that Carson and Jordan did, even while they were still sort of down in preseason, is they worked together. They threw routes together. They worked out together. Um, so they, they, they maintained that chemistry that they needed. And Jordan had a great week of practice. Uh, they really connected well um, all week long. And it was great to see Jordan out there um, doing the things that he's very capable of doing. And, and Carson feels very comfortable throwing him the football. And um, a couple things were by design. You know, to get Jordan the 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 the, the, uh, the, the ball, and uh, again credit the offensive line for giving him some protection and uh, allowing him to do that. You got the ball in a lot of receivers, particularly in that first drive. Uh, is that more important for Carson, more important for the receivers? You think? Both, both. You know, it's great for the receivers to get touches early, uh, give them confidence for the rest of the football game. Um, you know, and then and then for Carson, just to just to get into that comfort level of uh, of trusting his guys, and for any quarterback. Uh, being able to, you know, spread the football around um, gives you that confidence going forward. It's great for a young quarterback to, to feel that to feel that success. Hey, Doug, what was your pregame interaction with Carson Light? It seemed like you guys had a couple of light moments out on the field pregame. Yeah, I was just trying to lighten. I don't know if it was more for me or for him. You know, because <laughs> um, my nerves were, you know, were a little high as well. And I was I was a little jittery going out there, but I just wanted him to relax and just 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 take a take a look around and, and just see this. This is. This is a great feeling, you know, before the football game and, and everything that went on and, and just to soak it all in. And then, and then once the, you know, once the, once the, 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 the ball was teed up and kicked off, it was business as usual. So uh, try to keep it as light as possible and, and uh, just let them know that we're also out here to have fun. What did you tell them after that first drive? You got down. Did you want to settle him, or do you want him to? No, I said, hey, we're gonna we're gonna stay this we're gonna stay this way all day. I said, let's get let's let's just keep this mindset, this mentality going. You know, um, it's the first drive. There's a lot of football left. You know, it's the first time that these guys have played a full 60 minute game. So, um, it, it it matters now that when you when you not only score on your first drive, but how well you can bounce back those next two three series. And we kind of struggled right in there a little bit. And had some opportunities. Um, missed a kick. Made the kick, so you know we had chances. Um, those are things we got to look at, and clean up, and, and make the uh, make the corrections going forward. That it was, seemed like Carson kind of uh, was you know, audibly quite a bit during the game. How much did he actually change the call? Um, you know, again, it's by design. We we give him uh, in the play call. We'll give him a you know, for instance, a run right, run left, uh, for instance, and he uses his cadence to see what the defense is going to do, and then it's 
uh, from there, it's either we leave the original play on or we, we check it or kill it to the other play. And, uh, it's just things that, that most teams do uh, nowadays. Uh, you get so many multiple looks on defenses that you got to put your quarterback and your offense in those, in those positions, and, and he handled those very well. You